I've been able to install uh, Apache Airflow uh, locally or standalone on my Linux environment. It's a virtual machine and you can see the version here. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, add a Snowflake connection to my Apache standalone Apache Airflow standalone environment. Uh, before that, I'll just show a little bit uh, about uh, the, this installed environment here. So on this uh, particular window, I'm going to start the Airflow server, the local server. So after the installation, uh, as per the requirement, it creates a Airflow directory within the home directory. And uh, it creates following within the Airflow directory. For the installation, I followed the uh, these steps as per uh, given on the Airflow website. So I just copy pasted all of this into a shell script and I just executed this shell script and this installed the Apache Airflow. And we just need to make sure that the Python version and the pip version is as per whatever is mentioned on the uh, Snowflake sorry the the airflow website so this is uh, from where i got this information and i just copy pasted on the in a shell script and i executed this so in, in my particular environment i have the python is called python 3 so i just replaced it with this but this you can manage using alias or uh, as per your own local environment I'm going to install the Snowflake connector for Apache Airflow now. So for that, we just it's just like uh, modular. So we'll you know, use pip here and Apache. And providers is Snowflake. Let's see. Okay. It's working. And once this is done, I'm going to start the Airflow again and then again try to log in and see if uh, now I can get the Snowflake collect, uh, connector. Okay almost done all right let's try to see it now uh, let me actually log out and log back in and I go to admin and I go to connections and I do a plus here and let's see there we go so we have the Snowflake connector over here now. Once we have installed the uh, Snowflake connector, uh, let's also take a look at a little bit on the uh, directory structure or where which files are placed and a bit on the UI here uh, for the Apache Airflow. Uh, so like if we go to the DAGs here, So we can see like a bunch of uh, these already present here. These are like the samples, sample DAGs provided uh, with the default installation for Apache Airflow. So let me just try and open one of them. So I'll just click here. So now we can see it gives all these different options, so tree, graph. These are all different views. And also we can look at the code behind the DAG. Uh, which is a python code and if we go to details here so this from here you can see uh, that where is the actual python code file located right so uh, because if we look here and this is all all configurable by means of uh, configuration file 
So like this is the default Airflow directory and if you look here, so ideally the DAX uh, should be placed here, but uh, it's not configured as of now, so nothing is there. So all these uh, example DAX as you can see uh, are present here. So let me just try and go to this directory and see. Okay, so yeah, so like you can see here, so we have everything, all these examples here. So I'll go one level up here and let's see what's available for us here. So right now I am in the Airflow directory and uh, as we know we installed the snowflake connector so let's see how that looks so yeah so here's the provider directory so i believe this should be the one where um, we will find all the information about all the providers that we have here so yeah there we go so here we have the snowflake directory and uh, let's uh, see into that so there we go so it has everything here so uh, here also it provides uh, some example DAGs here which we can uh, see and work with and if I just open this uh, real quick and yeah so it gives a uh, good good information about how we can uh, like what we can do and uh, how we can create a basic DAG and everything like SQL command and then how can we use an insert Okay, so good information.